Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bread prover. Very simple, very easy. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we get right on with the video. Well, now I'm at home, I don't have a prover. So the idea of proving up at home is if I use the oven, it's gonna be up to temperature for bread baking. So I can't use the oven. The other way is, is just to leave it out on the side. And obviously you'll get a, like a skin over the top without much cop. So the answer to it is make your own prover. It's a very simple job. Now the important part is you can do this as any type of thing, but this is what I'd recommend you doing. This is so simple. What you want is a box. There we go. A simple box. It's not any ordinary box. It's flat. So the important part with this particular box is I am going to be selling them in my eBay store eventually. I haven't put them on yet. Uh, they're not that dear to buy. Uh, you can get them off the net somewhere else. And but my price is going to be the same as theirs anyway. So all we do is open it up. Now the important part with this particular box, it's lined. It's actually got wax on it. And also the lid is the same. It's a waxed lid. So inside it's waxed. So it's, it's something about wax. It's almost like putting it in a plastic bag. Now, all we do, you put your bread or anything into the box. Boiling hot water. You don't need this size, but you can use smaller. All this is, is for a bit of moisture. And all we do, you put your goods inside the box and you put your lid on. Now it is adjustable. <laughs> yes, it's a lid that goes up and down. So if you've got high tins, you have actually got, you can actually, once you've your items in there, you can actually staple the box up properly. But once it's in there, you can actually adjust the height. So you've got it down low or up high. It's very easy to do. Someone said to me before, how do you come up with this idea? Well, it's like a lot of things. Now, if you're a cheapskate, you can actually make two proving boxes. There you go, you put them next to one another. And all you need to do is get yourself a plastic bag. Obviously you'll have tins inside this, so this is a light box at the moment. So when you've got weight in it, you can just put it over the top. And it's as simple as that. Now with a cardboard box, just the straightforward one you get from the supermarket, they're great, but inside they're gonna be dry because cardboard sucks in the water. So the evaporation is gonna go into the cardboard and also cardboard, for some reason, I found on an experiment, it draws taste of the cardboard into the bread, which is weird. Never knew that was gonna happen, but you know, these things you learn. So the best idea also is just getting yourself a plastic bag. Make sure your product's inside and do that so that your product's inside and it's in like a bubble. That also works. But remember, there's no water in there. Now with your box, you can add water to it to give that bit of water. So when it warms up, it's making it like a little bit of steam in there to gradually grow your dough or rolls or whatever you wanna do. It's a great easy thing. I've found this out 
because when I've come home and I've realised I've not got a prover, my oven's boiling hot. I can't prove up nowhere. I leave it all over the place and I think, oh, it's drying out. But I usually cover them with cloths. But in your kitchen at home, it doesn't have that, what I call bakery atmosphere. Because in a bakery, you've got that type of, it's a steamy area that you, we work in. But when you're at home, it's, it's dry central heating. So you're not getting that sort of like dampness and the warmth to make the product grow as nice. You know, so these are things you've got to remember at home. And from a professional point of view, the box is great. And not just that, you can use it for other things as well. You know, so I will mention to you, but if you buy flour from me, from my eBay store, I deliver my flour in this. If anybody's had this before, you'll recognize the bag. I wrap my flour in it and I send the box to you. So you don't have to buy it. The only thing is, the inside will be okay. I don't know what the outside's gonna look like when it gets to you. Because obviously if I'm sending a box with flour in it, couriers tend to like man cut the box from the outside. It may be fine inside, I don't know. I've never seen one delivered. But when it gets, when I get to putting this on my eBay store, um, they'll be packed flat, obviously, and wrapped. But I don't know what the cost is going to be yet because I haven't done that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description below as there may be something down there that interests you. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!